the verdict in the so-called loud music trial. And today there are new accusations that Michael Dunn was a swinger. Paul Boyd explains. Does the businessman just convicted in the loud music trial have a secret life as a swinger? That's the shocking claim from Michael Dunn's neighbor, who says Dunn was a swinger who beat two ex-wives and forced one of them to go to sex clubs with him. Basically what she said was that uh, Michael was involved in some activities that he had insisted that she get on to Fort Lauderdale with, with him to a... Uh, a wife swap swapping club or a partner swapping club, whatever, and that he gave her no choice. Dunn's former neighbor, Charles Hendricks, yeah. has reportedly told authorities that the 47-year-old defendant is a swinger who intimidated his ex-wives and has a history of violence. When you tell the wives that they need to call the police and they don't, uh, there's really not a lot you can do. He described Michael Dunn as a very volatile, arrogant man who uh, became enraged when people disagreed with him. Dunn's lawyer says the software developer was in disbelief after being found guilty Saturday on three counts of attempted murder for opening fire on an SUV filled with black teens. But a mistrial was declared on the most serious count of first-degree murder in the death of 17-year-old Jordan Davis. Based on the jury's inability to reach a verdict as to count one, I would declare that mistried. The case has been compared to the Trayvon Martin trial. During an appearance on CNN, George Zimmerman was asked to weigh in on the Michael Dunn case. I don't watch news anymore. I watch um, comedy shows, uh, home improvement shows. Um, so I, I'm not well enough informed to give you exacts. The case is stirring up so much passion on both sides that CNN anchor Ashley Banfield made this extraordinary statement. I have had it with people who are threatening me and my kids and my family over simply commenting on the law and criminal procedure. Dunn's attorney says the neighbor's claims are baseless. He calls them ridiculous and preposterous. When we come back,